usage of water in system. In our last video, we have discussed about the additions of integers and in this we have solved various type of questions. In our last video, we have also solved some questions which are based on associative property. Okay, so let's see some more questions on the same property because such type of questions have many chance to come in the examinations. So, without wasting our time, let's start our exercise. And here we solve some more questions from this exercise. And here is the first question. Zero plus zero plus minus one plus one plus nine hundred thirty two. Plus three hundred thirty-two. Okay, students. So this is the question, and here we have to find its solution. So let's start. There is a zero integer given. So here, so one most important thing is that here we need not zero. So we can leave this, and here we write. Here we apply the associative property on this three terms. So we write here this will equal to minus one plus one and plus nine hundred thirty two plus minus three hundred thirty two. Okay, and in the next step we get minus one plus one plus nine hundred thirty two. Plus minus three hundred thirty-two. I hope it is clear. And here we get minus one plus one is equal to zero. Plus nine hundred thirty-two. Plus minus three hundred thirty-two. And here we get nine hundred thirty-two. Plus sorry. Plus minus minus three hundred thirty-two. And uh, when we subtract it, we get 600 as a result. So this is the solution of the given question. Here, five terms given, and at last we get our result. I hope it is clear to all. Now let's see our next question. Okay, friends. So let's start the new question. Nine hundred eleven plus eighty nine plus minus. Fifty-six plus minus forty-four. Okay. So here we get first we apply the nine hundred eleven plus eighty-nine and plus minus fifty-six plus. Minus forty-four. Okay. In the next, here we get nine hundred and eleven plus eighty-nine is equal to one thousand. Okay. And plus minus fifty-six plus minus fifty forty-four. Again, apply. Associative property, we get one thousand plus 
minus 56 plus minus 44 and at last we get 1000 plus minus 56 plus minus minus 44 and this will equal to 1000 plus 100 with the sign of minus because here both are minus negative integer therefore their sum will also be negative integer and here we get this one and this will equal to 1000 plus minus minus 100 and here we get as the final solution 900 as the result. So friends, I hope it is clear to all. If you have any confusion, then please comment. I will clear your doubts in my next video. So let's go further and see the next question. The next question is, what is the sum of, what is the sum of the largest four digit positive integers, the largest four digit positive four digit positive integer and smallest three digit negative is our problem and here we have to solve it. So let's see what does the question say. What is the sum of the largest four digit positive integer and the smallest three digit negative integer. Okay. So here we write the largest Four digit positive integer. As we know that the positive integers are whole number, so here without any doubt we can write it as we know that the largest four digit number is. 9999 which is the positive integer of 4 digit and the next the smallest 3 digit negative integer negative And this will be equal to what will be the three digit negative integer for this? Let's say if here I write minus one and minus nine, then which one is greater? 
obviously minus 1 and if I write minus 10 and minus 99 then which one will be greater minus 10 no doubt similarly if I write minus 100 and minus 999 then which one which one is greater it is doubtlessly 100 that means here we can see that one digit is smallest integer is minus 9 two digit is smallest integer negative integer is minus 99 and three digit smallest negative integer is minus 999 so this will be minus 999 ok now we find its sum so here we write and their sum is equal to largest 4 digit positive integer that is 9999 plus minus 999 and this will be equal to 9999 minus 999 and this will be equal to 9000 as a result ok so I think that there is no doubt in the solution of this question and here you get which is the largest 4 digit positive integer and which is the smallest 3 digit negative integer if somebody asks what are what is the 5 digit smallest negative integer then your answer will be 99999 okay minus 99999 so this is the solution of the question as you can see so I hope it is clear to everyone let's see one more question What is the sum of the largest five digit largest five digit even positive integer and smallest five digit and smallest five digit or negative integer ok here a little change in this question like the first here the question is what is the sum of the largest five digit even positive integer here we have to find even positive integer and smallest five digit or negative integers ok so here we write its solution The largest even positive integer. This will be ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety eight and 
the smallest or negative integer and this will be equal to minus 99999 okay and here we have to find their sum so here we write their sum is equal to minus 999999 and plus 99998 okay and when we solve it we get minus 1 as a result i hope the solution is clear to all okay so here we write the largest even positive integer of 5 digit that is 99,999 and smallest e or negative integer of 5 digit that is minus 99,999 and we have to find their sum therefore their sum will be as given here so student I hope it is clear to everyone and if you have any doubt then you can comment me okay so we shall study subtraction of integer in our next video till then goodbye